The book I want to read to you today is Danny and Daisy, A Tale of a Dolphin Duo. This story is based on a true story of a dolphin that uh, stayed behind and got lost from its pod. It was a front page story uh, in the, the newspaper for quite a long time. The divers called uh, the dolphin Rascal, and uh, you can listen in the story uh, that I refer to the dolphin as Rascal. But I've named my character Danny. Danny Dolphin was a young sea mammal. He lived in Big Bay with a school of dolphins. Danny was huge. He had big flippers and a giant jaw. The big dolphin's jaw was just right for scooping up fish. Sometimes Danny could be seen fish whacking. He would strike a fish with his tail and send it high into the air. The fish was stunned and Danny could easily catch it. When he was not feeding, Danny Dolphin swam and played in Big Bay. His fast tail fin was a powerful paddle. He used it to propel himself through the water. When the waves were wild, Danny went body surfing, and he would jump out of the water just for the fun of it. Danny had fun in his school, too. The dolphins all would swim in a circle and slap their tails in the water. They talked and whistled as they played. Each dolphin made its own special sound, a signature whistle. One day, Danny was swimming alone. The school of dolphins decided to swim south. Danny was having so much fun that he didn't hear them leave. Danny was all alone in Big Bay. Days passed and the water turned cold. Most of the fish moved on to warmer waters. Danny couldn't find enough fish to eat, and he lost weight. Helpful humans on the shore saw Danny. That dolphin needs our help, they said. So a team of divers loaded a net into a boat and went out to save Danny. Danny Dolphin was happy to see the divers. He made clicking noises and did a barrel roll. Maybe they will be my playmates, he thought. Two of the divers jumped overboard. He's a cute rascal, one of them said. They began to play with Danny so that he wouldn't notice the net. The divers offered fish to Danny. When he took fish from their hands, they gently touched and petted him. Since Danny was a wild dolphin, all of that was new to him. Suddenly, Danny was afraid. He noticed the net closing around him. He tried to swim away fast, but he ran right into the net. Quickly, divers rushed to help him. They kept Danny's head above the water. On top of his head was a blowhole for breathing. He had to get air, like all mammals. Helpful humans watched from the shore. They cheered for both the divers and Danny. I don't feel very cheerful, thought Danny, and he squirmed and squirmed. Carefully, the divers placed Danny in a stretcher. Then they put him on soft cushions in their boat. The divers ran the boat fast to a waiting van so they could drive him to an airport. The jet flew fast. Danny lay in his stretcher on the plane. Oh, what will happen to me now, cried Danny. But someone sprayed him gently with water, and he was kept cold with ice packs. When the jet landed, they rushed him to his new home, a large tank at a science center. Danny was homesick at first. This is not like Big Bay, he thought. But he soon found that he could jump and swim just like he did at home. And another dolphin was there with him, a cheerful, friendly dolphin. What is your name? Danny asked. My name is Daisy, she said. Come play with me. Danny was so happy that he jumped for joy. Then Danny swam beside Daisy. How did you get here, he asked. 
Something was wrong with my eyes. I swam up on the beach and was lying there when helpful humans found me. They brought me to the science center, she said. Every day, big and little humans came to watch Danny and Daisy Dolphin. The young dolphins were daring as they leaped out of the water. What a daring duo, the humans said, clapping their hands. Let's show the humans that we like them too, said Danny. We can clap for them with our tails. So that's what Danny and Daisy did. The big dolphins slapped the water with their tails. Then the humans went happily home. They could see that Danny and Daisy were safe and sound at the science center. And one day, when Danny and Daisy were well, they would play again in the ocean's wild waves. Did you like that story? <laughs>